Despite the ongoing pandemic, award season has been in full swing this year. Sunday night marked Oscars night, which looked and felt different, of course, than in years past. CBS 4's Johnny Backus in Los Angeles with the night's big winners. The 93rd Academy Awards took on a cinematic look of its own from Los Angeles's iconic Union Station. TV. Actress Here Regina go. King, who made her directorial debut with One Night in Miami, addressed the pandemic in her opening monologue. It has been quite a year, and we are still smack dab in the middle of it. Daniel Kaluuya won the Best Supporting Actor Oscar for Judas and the Black Messiah. The film chronicles an FBI informant's infiltration of the Black Panther Party. That's what this was all about, is about telling the truth and getting it out there and making sure people see who this man was. Yoonya Jung was named Best Supporting Actress for Minari, the story of a Korean-American family that moves to an Arkansas farm. I have just a little bit luck, I think, maybe. I'm luckier than you. <laughs> She's the first Korean actress to win the award. For the first time ever, almost half the acting nominees were people of color. Renowned actor and filmmaker Tyler Perry received a humanitarian award and urged Americans to reject hate. I refuse to hate someone because they are Mexican or because they are black or white or LBGTQ. I refuse to hate someone because they are a police officer. Nomad Land scooped up the Oscar for Best Picture. Frances McDormand won Best Actress for her role in the movie. And Chloe Zhao became the first woman of color to win Best Director for the film. This is for anyone who has the faith and the courage to hold on to the goodness in themselves. Near the end of the night, Anthony Hopkins took Best Actor for The Father, his second win in the category after The Silence of the Lambs. At 83, Hopkins is now the oldest Best Actor winner in Oscar history. Don Yabak is CBS News, Los Angeles. Hopkins' win was something of an upset. Many had expected the late Chadwick Boseman to win posthumously for his final film. He played the starring role in Ma Rainey's Black Bottom.